This is a live free healing video. Today is June 29th, 2019, but if it's later than that for you, then you are probably watching the replay, which is great because in the replay, you still get all the energetic goodies, all the energetic alignments. They are always active because this is an active healing field whenever you tune into it. This is remote space-time healing. You are tuning into a healing field that's always available, always fresh and new, even if it's you know years from now. So today is June 29th or whenever you happen to be here. So um, during the live healing, I'm gonna be asking you some questions. So please post the answers in your little comment uh, box on Facebook. Um, if you're watching the replay later on Facebook or YouTube or my website, which is nowhealing.com, you'll also be able to post your comments and I will read them, but not in real time. It, you know, depending on when I see them, it might take a while if you are watching the replay, but that's okay. Um, so we are going to get started with the free healing in a couple of minutes. We're going to talk about what is going on with the huge increase in psychic turbulence and noise and overwhelm that so many people are experiencing, including yours truly, which is why I'm doing this. Uh, you know, people are experiencing it whether they know it or not, because there's so much intensity in the realm of psychic resonance these days. Um, so whether you know it or not, you need to deal with it. I need to deal with it. Um, and I'll show you the best way that I have found to do that because uncontrolled psychic resonance can really distort us. So, you know, we could take on other people's thoughts, emotions, pains, and illnesses. I do this with my mom all the time. You know, I'll, I'll have like knee pain and then she'll say, oh, I had knee pain last night. And I'm like, Duh! again? <laughs> so in that sense, it's something we need to sometimes watch out for constantly. Other times we don't and we think we do. So I'll show you how to navigate the balance between do you need psychic protection or do you not need psychic protection? Um, because taking on other people's stuff can not just influence our thoughts and emotions, our actions. It can resonate in our health. We can pick up symptoms. We can pick up, um, uh, you know, tendencies, weaknesses, physically, mentally, emotionally. Uh, it can affect our relationships and our wealth. You know, we might be resonating with ancestral um, money stuff or poverty stuff, and we might not know it. Or we might over fear resonating with that stuff, and that in itself creates a, a self resonance that you don't necessarily want. So um, you don't want to resort to fear based neurotic psychic protection techniques where you always think you have to protect yourself. On the other hand, you don't want to blithely ignore it either because sometimes it affects you a lot. Sometimes it affects you a little. I will tell you how to avoid that fear-based psychic protection, uh, which is, and, and what the big mistake is that a lot of people make when they try for psychic protection. But first, a couple more announcements for people who just joined us. Oh, I should scroll down because a lot of people came in. Hi, hi, everybody. Good to see you. Um, I just want to remind you, please share this by clicking the little share button so that your friends can get this free healing as well. I thank you uh, for sharing it. You are not just sharing the healing on Facebook or on YouTube or, or whatever. You're also broadcasting out a resonance of healing uh, by joining this healing field or your healing field or whatever you want to call it. I'll go into that later. <laughs> so, um, Please share the video, the Facebook Live video right now. And I just want to make one more announcement. Um, 
make sure that you are signed up for my mailing list. If you got an email about this, then yes, you're signed up. If you found this healing another way, then you need to sign up for my mailing list because I'll send you tons of goodies, lots of other free healing on every topic under the sun. Uh, I'll send you tips and tools that you can use right away to powerfully plug in to your highest healing field. And you can probably feel that happening already right now. <laughs> yes, it's happening. And even if you can't feel it, it is happening. So uh, I digress. Make sure to go to nowhealing.com and sign up for the mailing list if you haven't already done so. Nowhealing.com. Um, oh, and one more announcement. Next week, a week from today, Saturday, July 6th, is an hour-long deep healing to raise your resonance in all areas of psychic energy and empathy. We're going to clear your hidden negative energy, quote unquote. We're going to scan your energetic boundaries and, and reintegrate your boundaries to clear out your specific junk. And you can bring whatever healing intention you have, and we will clear out the psychic energy and empathy components of that. Uh, so. That is uh, the usual monthly guided healing call that I do on the first Saturday of every month. You have to be a member, so um, you, uh, you need to enroll for that. That one is not free. This one's free. Uh, this is uh, an introduction to and a healing, of course. And the one next week, the guided healing call for members only, is going to pick up where we leave off today because today's introductory free healing is powerful enough to take care of a huge percentage of your psychic and empathic resonance needs. But sometimes you need to go deeper, and that's what we'll do in next week's hour-long deep dive guided healing call. So you can enroll at nowhealing.com slash GHT nowhealing.com slash ght and i'll put that link up in the title of the of this uh, video later <clears throat> so let's get started with the healing um the healing has actually already started i want to ask you do you know when you are picking up other people's energy, collective conscious energy, global energy, geopathic energy from walking through a place, uh, feng shui energy. Do you know when you're picking up stuff? It doesn't have to be negative. It can be positive. You know, when you walk through beautiful nature, you are picking up that energy. Um, but what we're concerned about here is the stuff that makes you uncomfortable. So let me know in the comments if you are aware of picking up other people's energy, ancestral energy, whatever. Let me know just briefly your experience. Write it in a, a sentence or two so I can see where you're at and so that you can kind of get a, a baseline for where we're at. <clears throat> so type into the comments, are you aware, do you know when you're picking up other people's energy? And if you also want to tell me uh, do you usually do some kind of psychic protection or do you not? So let me know where you're at with that. And because often we think that, you know, my stress, my worry, my anxiety, my discomfort, pain, itchiness, inflammation, illness, it may not actually be mine. Or it may not, if you're experiencing stuff, it may not actually be yours. And you've probably heard that before. And that can be kind of scary because what the heck do you do about it? So you may be resonating with other people's problems, pain, patterns. And even if you are highly aware that this can happen, it can still sneak up on you like it does with me sometimes. And I know many, many, many expert master healers. I don't like the word master healer because we are all innately healers. But I know many experienced healers and energy woo-woo people who, to whom this happens often. Uh, so 
what the heck do we do? Oh, let me just read the comments. Um, Maura says, a lot. I try, but it doesn't seem to work with me. Patricia, I'm not aware at the moment, but I feel the consequences. Hey, yes, I get it. Um, Josephine, sometimes I'm aware I'm picking up others' energy and resonate with others. Carolyn, I try to do an aura cleanse daily and I always pick up other people's energy. We will talk about the, you know, fo focusing on what you don't want. <laughs> and Pooja says, yes, I can feel other people's energy when they think negative about me. Ocel, uh, can't get the video to open. It says, uh, I, I can't help you, unfortunately, technically. Here, receive help and figure it out. <laughs> if anyone else wants to help Ocel uh, getting the video to open, um, it might, you know, it might be your device. Okay, Wendy says, and thank you for sharing, Wendy. Uh, sometimes I do, Pauline, yes, pick up other people's energies. By the way, Wendy shared, so please also share, as, as you're typing in, share this so that your friends can see this video too, can get this free healing. Okay, uh, so, whatever your answer is to the question, do you know when you're picking up psychic resonance? Um, even if you know the answer right now, it may be a different answer tomorrow. So don't necessarily assume that, yes, I'm picking up psychic energy, I'm picking up resonance right now. That doesn't mean that you always do it because our, your conscious mind is not the larger aware mind or the larger awareness that can really tell. So if you are fearing it, if you are dreading it, if you're wondering, oh no, I'm doing something wrong by not psychically protecting, that is the, uh, that is a misdirection. You don't want to work from fear. You want to work from centeredness. So um, that is the big mistake that a lot of us make is we go into fear and then we have a fear-based assumption that we need psychic protection. The question, the topic of this live healing, this free healing, do you need psychic protection? What's the answer? Some say you always need psychic protection. Some say you never need psychic protection. Uh, one of my early amazing teachers uh, said, you never need psychic protection. If you're neutral, you don't need it. Uh, you never need to concern yourself with it. Um, so what's the answer, always or never? I am a integrator, so I like to say, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. <laughs> so, um, the big mistake is assuming that you need psychic protection. It's most likely that you only very rarely need protection. You don't want to come from fear. You don't want to over-focus on protection. Uh, even if you may have had a, a bad experience or two of like picking up crap and junk, you don't always need to do it. It's like, it's like you know, if you get a cold, fearing colds all the time. That's not healthy and whole. So, um, or I liken it to, you know, if you, if you over-focus on something, you crash into it. it it's... And, Always wanting to psychically protect yourself is like putting on a helmet and knee pads when you're roller skating. You probably won't need them. But if you're roller skating really hard and if you're doing extreme moves, you'll want to wear them. You certainly don't want to put on your helmet and pads first thing in the morning when you get out of bed to make your cup of tea and, and wear them all day if you're not even roller skating. The analogy falters a little bit, but I think you get what I mean. Um, you only need to psychically protect sometimes. On the other hand, don't beat yourself up if you do happen to pick up other people's energy. Don't fall into the pit of, why am I so weak? I, why am I buffeted by the storms and strifes of life? That's the wrong question to ask. You know, the solution is to ask the right question, not what do I need protection from? Or are my boundaries strong enough? Or is so-and-so blasting me with negative energy? But here is the real question to ask that will have huge effects. Am I centered right now? 
Am I resonating with wholeness? Or am I resonating with outside influences that are disconnecting me from wholeness? So ask yourself this question. Am I centered right now? And if you, if you don't know the answer, just get centered because you can never do that too much. It's always wonderful to get more and more and more centered because there is always more and more and more wholeness to get centered into because wholeness is infinite. So let's do that right now. This is the first step in most now healing processes, tools, takeaways. Come to center. Breathe into your vertical center. Feel your vertical center. Some people might want to feel their heart, but it's not just about your heart. It's also about your gut. Whoa, my gut. Ah! <laughs> it's also about your pelvic floor. It's also about your third eye, your crown. Be centered in your body, be centered in your mind, be centered in the space that you're in, your vertical center. Breathe into it, become aware of it. You can close your eyes or leave them open if you want. Breathe into your center. And here's a healing alignment. If you're not exactly sure what the heck to do, align with center now. You are aligned with center now and just accept that even if you might not be sure what's happening how why all of that is immaterial align with center now that snaps you to center which is useful in a zillion different ways not just for psychic protection not just for uh lessening an empathic response it is useful for any kind of healing that we do in now healing and everywhere so that is uh, the main thing get centered in wholeness that's what you're really doing when you're getting centered in what feels like your body or your chakras or whatever you're actually getting centered in wholeness and infinite self I have a lot more about that I could go on and on forever it doesn't matter. The words that I'm saying don't actually matter that much. They're just sort of the tip of the energetic iceberg. Feel your center. Sense your center. Visualize if you can't feel. Feel if you can't visualize. Imagine. Pretend. Pretend to go to your center. Now. That works. You're there. Okay. So, that question when you wonder, should I protect myself psychically? Before you even ask that question, ask, am I centered right now? And snap yourself to center now. By breathing, visualizing, imagining, pretending. There's a million ways to do it. Just do it. Um, so that is, in a nutshell, in a simple, simple form, the easiest, fastest way that I know to do psychic protection or not need psychic protection. It's the same thing. Um, it's that lovely paradox that we, that we get so involved in, the spiraling loop of extremes at center. So that is the first step. This is how to clear negative energy. This is the first thing you need to do, and it's often the only thing you need to do. Snap to center. This makes your energy field stronger and bigger and brighter and more whole than the outer energies that are coming at it or the inner energies from your DNA or ancestors that are connecting to other dimensions, blah, 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 all of that. So when you snap to center, you reintegrate your, your field and you align with wholeness. Center also makes you neutral, um, meaning calibrated to zero. It fine tunes your energy sensing instruments to zero, to neutral, so that you're not off center. And when you're off center, you're more easily buffeted by um, the winds of psychic resonance. So going to center 
instantly aligns you with wholeness on all levels, whether you know it locally with your local awareness or not. That way you can let wholeness do all the work. You don't have to do that much work. You just have to remember to snap to center. You, you have to do a tiny little bit of work to remember that you don't have to do all the work. <laughs> okay. So that was the basic. And it's amazing how often we forget the basics. I forget the basics. I'm running around. I'm doing my, you know, crap out in the world. And, you know, a driver will cut me off and I'll get uh, pissy. And, and it'll sometimes take me a little while to remember, ah, center. <laughs> sometimes we want to get pissy. Sometimes we, we are in the habit of resonating with our fear or our weakness or our rage or our, you know, guilt or shame or our pain. Um, remember that you don't have to do that. Okay, let me just check the comments here. Hello, hello. Um, so, beautiful. Um, let's uh, remember to please share this if you are just joining us so that your friends can participate in this free healing as well. And I thank you, thank you. Thank you, Robin, for sharing. Um, I. I this is a new thing in Facebook. I'm not quite sure how it shows up. Never mind. Um, so, um, this snapping to center in the face of outside influences or unwanted resonances is your first step, and it will take care of a huge percentage of your stuff. So, try it now. Let me know if you have any questions about that. Let me know if you experienced the center or if you didn't experience the center. Let me know, you know, whatever you're experiencing now, put it in the comments, please. And while you do that, I'm going to do some silent healing alignments for you. Please put your comments in so I can see where you're at. But when you put your comments in, be aware that the energy is still shifting. There's still healing, rippling out. We're not done. We're never done. Go ahead and write your comment. What did you experience? What are you experiencing? While well, I do some silent work. And uh, while I'm waiting for those comments to come in and my screen to catch up, um, I can't really describe what I just did, uh, but here's another thing that I just did also. Um, I disentangled your uh, psychic and empathic responses from um, your local awareness so that your awareness can be clearer of what's causing my back pain, what's causing my relationship with my mother to be ah. um, And when I say cause, what I really mean is entangled because if you know me, you've read my rants on cause and effect and how that doesn't, there's not a single cause for anything. It's just entanglements, but I won't go into that right now because you don't have all day. <laughs> Um, Robin, oh, uh, Robin says, I know the centering happens. It, it's a definite feeling. That's great. And be aware that the, the definite feeling can feel different at different times for some people. Maybe for Robin, you always feel it the same way. I feel it differently at different times. You know, I'll feel it different places in my body. I'll feel it different places in my larger bio field. Um, uh, Sid says, I imagine my heart's shape when I'm at my center. Beautiful. Uh, that can be really, really helpful if you like to visualize um, and open yourself up to other symbols, other visualizations, other sensations, because it can be a physical sensation too uh, when you get centered. Because uh, when you're at center, you can notice an infinite number of aspects of the center. 
That's what I talk about in my guided healing calls. Every month we do a, a different aspect of the center. Um, Caroline feels more balanced. Uh, Josephine feels settled. Uh, Carol, a shower of moving light, almost like a waterfall. Love it. A smile inside. Um, Harold says, when I center myself, I feel real solid. Um, Aunt Pauline says, I feel low when I've been with negative people. Xenia says, I have very stuck energy for a few months. So if you are focused on the negativity of, oh, this makes me feel icky. Um, that is a good awareness to have. But the very next thing you need to do after you have the awareness of the negativity is snap to center. Stop focusing on the negativity, focus on your center, focus on wholeness. That's the big takeaway. In fact, that's all of now healing in a nutshell. Stop focusing on the stuff that you don't want. You've heard this before, but in now healing, we say, you know, focus on your center, focus on wholeness, let wholeness do the work. Okay. Um, so that is the big takeaway and the mistake the big mistake would be going with your fearful assumptions going with focusing on keeping focusing on the negativity um you don't need to focus on the cause focus on the center so that is your takeaway please do that it will help for everything not just psychic protection in terms of psychic protection and empathic response occasionally you will find that you want to do more. My estimate is, you know, rough guesstimate that about 90% of the time you can take care of unwanted psychic resonances and empathic responses in a matter of seconds by going to your center. 90% of the time, maybe more, I don't know. But sometimes you need to do more. Maybe about 9% of the time, you, need, you might need to take 10 minutes to do a healing session on yourself, go to center and, you know, ask the right questions. Like, um, I, I'm not going to go into what the right questions are because we are about almost at the half hour mark and I said we were going to go 25 minutes. Um, so 10, 9% of the time, you need to do a little more. And then, you know, less than one out of a, a hundred times, maybe one out of 500 or a thousand times, you might need to really suit up and put on your, your helmet and elbow pads and marshal your resources and pull out the big guns. So you don't need to do that every day. Go to center every day in a split second, snap to center, and you will start to discern, oh, is this a time that I need to really put on my, my knee pads and my helmet? Um, more than likely, the answer is no. So don't waste your time and energy doing a lot of psychic protection, fear-based, when you don't really need to. You can just snap to center and align with wholeness now. That's happening now, again, 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 now, now, now. Okay, so... If you want to go a little deeper with this, um, there are ways to be more involved. And that 9% of the time when we want to take 10 minutes or 20 minutes and do some more stuff, I would love to show you how to do that. Um, and it's much more than we can cover in this introductory free healing. So that's what I'm doing next Saturday, July 6th, in my monthly guided healing call or guided healing teleseminar. So to uh, many of you are already um, enrolled as members, so I will see you there. Thank you for coming to this because this is a little preview of what we're going to do. Um, please share this so that your friends can uh, partake of this free healing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Margaret just said, sometimes I say, align this issue with wholeness now. Yeah, that is now healing in a nutshell. Align this issue with wholeness now. Perfect. Do that. 
often that is all you need. And then you'll start to get, when it isn't all you need, when you need more, you'll start to get awarenesses of what else you need. If you want shortcuts, I'll show you my shortcuts. So join my guided healing calls, uh, guided healing teleseminars. Um, go to nowhealing.com forward slash G-H-T. I'll put it up in the description. Nowhealing.com forward slash G-H-T. There's a free sample on there. Um, please enroll in these really super low cost guided healings every month. We do a new topic every month that is, but we heal your whole life through the lens of that topic. Like next week, we're going to be looking at psychic resonance and empathic responses, but you'll bring whatever your um, healing intention is in any area, and we will clear the psychic response and empathic response component of that, of which there probably is some, and we'll I'll also do like a big um, scan of your energetic boundaries, uh, so we'll clear out stuff like that. And then the next month, oh gosh, do I have what is happening the following month in August? If, you, if you're watching this later live, um, uh, there's always more of them. In August, August 3rd, we're going to do wealth and abundance, raising your resonance on wealth and abundance, um, resetting your specific resonance with abundance on all levels, not just material, but, you know, time, love energy, health, blah, 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 all kinds of stuff. Then in September, we're going to do raising the resonance on your relationship. So this is an ongoing monthly guided healing call. It's super low cost. Check it out at nowhealing.com slash G-H-T. Okay? So uh, let me see what people are saying. Thank you, Xenia. Beautiful guidance and perfect timing. Thank you for your perfect timing too. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Great. So keep sharing this. If you've just joined us, please share this video, this free healing video. It will be up as a replay on the same page. So if you missed any of it, you can watch it again. Um, if you're already watching the replay, um, uh, on YouTube or on my website, nowhealing.com. That's great. Um, I will read your comments eventually. Uh, if you're live right now, I will read them right after this. Um, so the takeaway from all this is around the huge morass and storms and strifes of psychic influences and resonances and empathic responses, your first aid tool and your first thing to do in the morning is snap to center. Go to your center, your entire vertical center. It's not just your heart. Be aware of what more is there at your center because it's infinite. Okay. Um, thank you for sharing this. Uh, Facebook Live. Thank you for participating. Uh, by participating, you are expanding the healing field for yourself, for others. Um, and um, I hope that I see you enrolled in my guided healing calls. So go to nowhealing.com slash GHT, stands for Guided Healing Teleseminars. And um, I will, uh, and make sure to sign up for my mailing list on nowhealing.com if you haven't already. That's it for today. You can keep commenting. Uh, the comments will, will show up even when this live is over in the replay. So keep commenting. Thank you all. Beautiful, beautiful to be with you. Thank you. Thank you. This is Elma with love and wholeness signing off for now.